What I want to make sure we don't do is focus only on some very granular technical issues. And in particular, I want to make sure we don't focus just on desktop file formats. I've actually been working on some research projects where we've been more or less x-raying big data stores that governments have. And we've been asking questions like, why is it that a government couldn't instantly flip a switch and all of a sudden have massive success with an open government data program? And actually, the bigger issues beyond desktop uh, file formats are actually some, some pretty interesting things that don't immediately come to mind. For one, there's something called the file cabinet mentality. And that is the whole idea that when governments started making this data, they weren't doing it on computers. They were actually creating lots of papers. And that usually happened within people's offices behind locked doors. As governments transition business processes from these paper file processes to electronic processes, they very often didn't do any business process re-engineering. And as a result, some of the same data, just in electronic form, was again being created and stored behind locked doors without citizen access. Other things like um, massive issues around privacy policies, significant issues around legacy hardware and software, just significant, significant portions of the data that was created. Some of it's stored on devices that there may be two or three access devices across an entire government. Uh, I'm talking about specific types of drives that, that can read and write the magnetic media. Uh, 